What's up guys, it's Tyler from the Aquatic Journal. Today is gonna to be the first experiment that we're doing how aquarium plants grow in gravel versus sand. So for this video, I took a 20 high tank, split it down the middle, planted half of it in play sand, and then half of, in, half of it in Seachem Fluorite Dark. So over time, I'm just gonna see how they grow. They'll have the same light, same water conditions, same everything basically, except for the substrate. That'll be the only thing that's different. All the plants are plants that were pretty much already in my fish corner, so they're all grown and submerged, so everything should be fair, even, and should have an even playing ground for this experiment. So if you like what we're doing here, make sure to subscribe so you can see all the future videos. If you're watching this in the future, check the description for all of my future videos on the updates on this tank. So I hope you guys enjoy. The first thing I did is I went ahead and mixed up the sand and the gravel, they need to be rinsed out really thoroughly, otherwise they'll really cloud up your water if you were to just dump them straight in. And your water would be really murky for a while, so I just went ahead and rinsed them each quite a few times, honestly. A thing to note here is the gravel actually took a lot longer to rinse than the sand did. You can see after the first rinse here how muddy the water is, so it took quite a while to get that to clear up to where I was comfortable putting it in the tank. So already that was plus one for sand. Once that was done, I went ahead and put in my acrylic divider. It actually has a line drawn at the two inch mark on it so that I could put two inches of substrate on each side. Once that was in, I went ahead and put the sand on the right side there. I basically just dumped it in so that I had two inches of substrate, leveled it all out, and went back and leveled it out later as well. But you can see how much substrate is really sitting in this tank. Once that was done, I went ahead with the gravel on the left side, so I just dumped it in. I spilled a little there, which I went back and cleaned up later, so it looked a little nicer. But I pretty much just dumped it in, make sure I have a good two inches on each side, and then went back through and groomed it all. I wanted some more substrate in the back than I had in the front, so that when I put my sword plants in later, they would have something to really sink into. I used all types of plants for this project. They were all plants that I had in my fish room, so they're all stuff I had already grown before. Minus the swords, those were completely new to me, but I'll put all the names on the screen here so that you can see them all. I used every type of plant, so I used some sword plants, dwarf sedge, and what I believe is Valsneria. It's still up for debate because I'm not 100% sure it's growing a little weird. But those are all root plants, and then I used quite a few different stem plants to see how those would grow as well. One of the things we'll do once this project is done is we'll actually pull out some of the plants so you can see the roots that have grown in the tank because I think that's a good indicator of plant growth as well is just how well the roots grow in each substrate. After that, I just went ahead and added a couple inches of water to the tank. This was just to make it easier to plant in there. I laid some paper towel on the bottom so I wouldn't muddy up the water so much. You can still see I stirred up a little bit of the substrate, but it really wasn't too bad once I got it all filled up. After that, I really just start adding in the plants. I tried to make them sort of symmetrical on each side. It couldn't be exactly perfect. Some of the plants aren't obviously the exact same size, so I made sure to take videos of how they started so you'll really be able to see their growth as it goes on. I played with the plants a little bit because I really wanted them to look nice, so I ended up planting some, pulling them out, replanting them again a few times. I made the substrate a little more muddy than it was, but I pretty much put the swords in the back corner, the stems towards the back and the middle-ish, and then the dwarf sag up front.
Once that was done, I just went ahead and filled up the tank pretty much. So I added some fertilizer at the beginning of this as well to kind of boost the plants from the beginning. I may add some fish as well just to have some more bacteria on there. I, I filtered this tank with just a standard hang on back filter that I had hanging around um, with some foam and filter floss in it. So overall, what I'd say from the beginning, it was much easier to plant in the sand than it was in the gravel. Just overall easier to get them to stay in there. Um, I had a little bit of difficulty getting them to stick in the gravel, especially like the dwarf sage and that kind of stuff. But I'll be interested to see how this works out. So if you guys are interested, please subscribe, like this video, and let me know what you thought in the comments below. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.